Hey, I'm Tamara Korbach, and you're listening to the Functional Tennis Podcast. Welcome to the video episode of the Functional Tennis Podcast. I'm your host, Fabio Molly, and every week I interview players, coaches, trainers, and experts working at the highest level of tennis. Today, I speak with Tamara Kopach. Tamara recently played her first ever Wimbledon, and she tells us all about that experience from playing Heather Watson the first round, Heather Felt on a main court, and also her first ever doubles match at Wimbledon was unfortunately cancelled because her partner pulled out an hour before they were due to play. So she tells us all about the disappointment of that, and also looks back at some of her other matches throughout her career. Hope you enjoy the episode. As usual, before we start, a shout out to our podcast sponsor, Slinger, who make the awesome portable ball machine, the Slinger Bag. Head off to slingerbag.com to get all the info on it. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to message me directly as I'm an avid user. Okay, here's Tamara. Bye. Good. I'm very good. Uh, great to have you on. Uh, I first came across you during Wimbledon this year. I saw, uh, maybe it was an Instagram post or a tweet. I can't remember which one went out. And you were really, you were upset. Let's be honest. Uh, it was a tough situation where, if our listeners don't know, I'm sure many of them, could remember this but where it was uh harmony tan had just played serena wasn't it and anyway you were meant to play doubles with her the next day and she pulled out the last minute last hour sorry and you were extremely upset so i know this happens quite a bit but how did how did you feel as a tennis player that morning when you got the message were you just devastated it was your grand slam debut in doubles and you just played singles. Yeah, uh, honestly, I felt um, very, very sad at at, at the moment um, when I was reading her message. Um, I almost cried also because uh, it was very special for me to play the first time doubles in a Grand Slam. I had one more chance, like 2017 or something like this, uh, and we want to switch partners. I wanted to play with Garcia Perez. And uh, yeah, we could get in, but she uh, didn't cancel my name. So I had two partners and I had so much bad luck with this. And yeah, this time I wanted to play my first time doubles. And then when I uh, was reading her messages, I was very, very disappointed. And it went quite viral on Instagram, didn't it? I know I probably didn't help the situation <laughs> yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, honestly, honestly, I was posting um, this and I... I I didn't want to make it like this public. I was like uh, three minutes late. I was going to the shuttle and I, I was hearing this in the radio. So uh, I got a shock. Oh my God, why <laughs> already now? Yeah. And then I was remembering, and, oh, sh she has beaten uh, Serena. That's why. <laughs> ah. and, uh, and then did you have a chat with her? Did you just flesh it out? Or uh, how did you come to an agreement or like just a mutual agreement uh yeah i mean uh we didn't talk a lot she she didn't talk to me and i i went to her because i saw she went uh just uh, away to the locker room and then i went to her and talked to her and then she she wasn't sure yet and then like one hour before she told me she cannot play because she's tired or anything like this and um yeah i didn't know anything about her injury and uh, later on after she saw my post in the evening, she told me that uh, she she fell two times in her match, and she got injured. And then, yeah, I saw. I, I said, "Did you uh, call a physio?" And she said, "No, I'm never calling a physio." And I said, "You should do this, otherwise you get a worse injury." And they played with an injury against Serena and won. So <laughs> that's that's um, yeah. But uh, then we talked yeah, about, and she she was asking me to delete the post because she's getting bad messages, uh, bad messages, and um, yeah. And then I thought, like, okay, I don't want this because I I didn't plan that anyone is uh, mad or on her or something like this. And then yeah, I said, yeah, okay, I'm, I I delete the post, but it it would be a uh, nice. Uh, that you post something from your side, you know, they only listen to my opinion and what happens and yeah. It's look, it's, I see both sides I see your excitement to play. Somebody pulls out the last error, which is really disappointing no matter when it happened Two, she probably wanted to preserve her body for, give her a chance in singles. And she, she did quite well. She went on a good yeah. run. So uh, she did well, but, Bit of you, did a bit of you think? I'm not sure if you knew she beat Serena on the on the Monday night or the Tuesday night. I can't remember which night it was. Did a bit of you think this could happen, or had you not even thought of that? 
Oh no, honestly, before her match, I thought like maybe uh, she will win. Uh, honestly, I thought this. But uh, yeah, because I know how she plays. I played against her so many times and she's playing like slice and it's not easy against her. And uh, late night, I was still awake and I saw that she won against Serena and I was uh, telling her congratulations, amazing. I mean, it's unbelievable. And uh, yeah, when she arrived late in the hotel, she said, I'm tired and we will uh, cancel the warm up and because she wants to sleep longer and everything like this. I said, okay, it's, I, I understand because she had a long match and so late. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but, uh, so, yeah. So you felt she was still going to play? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because she was so motivated. She was so motivated. And uh, she also yeah. asked me to book a practice court for us. So that's why. And yeah, I did all this. Okay. But... Okay, well, look, but she said in the morning when, when she woke up, sure. the mom said she was walking like so strange or because she, she was broken or. Well, look, things happen. Yeah. Uh, you know, hopefully there's a lesson in there yeah. for you. But So you played Wimbledon. You had a great match against Heather Watson, uh, who went on a good run as well. Was this your first main entry? How many main entry slams have you played? Uh, I've played uh, Roland Garros before, main draw, and uh, US Open also. But yeah, Wimbledon. Okay, so Wimbledon, I've never been in the on the main side, only qualifying before. So it was your first main draw, Wimbledon, and I, I looking back, you've been playing few well ITF since two thousand and thirteen. Uh, with, I started with sixteen. I did see one for two thousand. I started with sixteen. No, I definitely saw two thousand and thirteen there. Um, yeah. I'm gonna check it live here while on the. While my my the, first uh, uh, ITF was in in Germany, Köln, Köln, I think, Cologne, we, or Leverkusen. We'll, we'll see here Tamara. Oh God, I'm so old. It's uh, a long time ago. So, but but you're young there. That's what I mean. So you played uh, 2013. You played ITF in Rattigen in Germany. Any memories there? No. You know, that's that's what somebody in Wikipedia wrote. So uh, you definitely. So anyway, it's a it's a long time. And you played in 2014. No, you wait, played um, in Netherlands, Alkmaar. Yeah, I played there, Alkmaar. Yes, but I, I don't. I I played and there a few uh, times. In Alkmaar. Yeah. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is, you've been playing on the circuit a long yeah. time. And it's been, it's a chance, it, it takes many years before you get to main draw of Grand Slams. It's like that for so many players. Obviously, there's some who can get through the rankings quickly and get up. But for most, it's a, it's a struggle. It's a grind. So it must have felt unbelievable for you to play your first Wimbledon. What was it like, like being on site for the main draw? Um, yes. Uh, first of all, I felt so special to be there because uh, when I arrived, they, they welcome you like uh, you have so good professional player like uh, you're something special and yeah I got some welcome gifts and they showed me the the whole club it's so big and so beautiful everything is like like perfect there and so beautiful and clean and yeah if you're just arriving then you feel already like special you're one of the top players it's like this feeling really I felt like this and yeah I was so happy to be there uh, uh, my first time and uh, on the main side, I was always dreaming um, when I was younger. I said, like, when I was starting with five, I was uh, saying I wanted to be the number one in the world. Um, and my biggest dream was uh, to be in television soon. And yeah, OK, that already came true. And um, when the schedule came out and the, the draw, I was seeing, oh, against the Britain player, Heather Watson, <laughs> everyone will be against me. And uh, then, okay, but I was happy. Yeah, maybe I will get a bigger court. And then I was uh, getting the court three. It's a, it, it's a big court with uh, many people, but outside. And then they had to move our uh, court uh, from court three, uh, three to one. So it's the big center court, court one, because it was raining and it was dark later. And then they were closing the roof. And uh, I was so excited. And when I when I uh, walked on the court, it was so amazing uh, atmosphere, so so loud, and I I was hearing everything. I was hearing my uh, my hit, 
and just uh, every single cuff from from a, a, a human there. And um, it was a very nice feeling. Honestly, I, I'm normally I'm very excited always when I play Grand Slam uh, main draw or in, on a big court, also in Germany, Stuttgart. Uh, I'm very excited, but there I was so cool. I don't know why, but I was staying so cool. Like I was just enjoying this. And when I was uh, standing on the court, I had to I had to look up and look around just to enjoy. And um, I mean, I was concentrating on the match, but one time I had to look how it looks, you know. <laughs> And it was you were it was a tight match, three sets, tight three sets. You were close to put mm. winning this win it in two, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. Um I yeah, I had the chance to win in two. She had six five in the second set, I remember, and I had two break points um to make six all and there was one ball, she came to the net and I was hitting the frame and it was a, a very low blob. Um, yeah, that was my chance. And then she won the second set. I wanted to go to toilet uh, to, I mean, get ready for the third. But then someone came on the court and said, we have to finish because it's not allowed to play one ball after 11 p.m. And I was, well, I, I, I was uh, like, uh, I didn't know the rule first, but also I said, it's already 11 p.m. Because we said, I think we played like uh, <laughs> two hours or more. Uh, for the two sets and I didn't think we played so long because I was just enjoying it didn't feel so long and did you come back then to play what court was that it on? was the same court that was on yeah yeah one. and the next day and did you come back did... yeah um, next day we, we played uh, on the same court but the roof was open the sun was shining and it was windy okay. it was very very different feeling than before and before I was warming up with the player and I said to my dad, like, oh, it's windy. And then, ah, but I don't have the problem because we are playing in the, uh, in the center court. But then it, I, I was going on the court and it was so windy there inside anyway because the roof was open. Yeah. Didn't expect it. So it's quite windy. Yeah, yeah. There. It's also windy in the center it, court. It's Okay. So, yeah, the Brits look yeah. for the wind. I don't like wind <laughs> while playing. And so, no, look, n not many yeah. people do, yeah. let's be honest. Uh, and, and so, okay, so that was good. So what sort of team do you have with you? What your ranking? Is it about 130 at the yeah, moment? Yeah, 135, yeah, because I lost uh, many points from my semifinal last year from Poland, Virginia. Yeah, I played semifinal. I had to withdraw from a few tournaments now because I had COVID like two and a half weeks ago. And I'm still not feeling well. I, I, I started uh, too early. Wait. Before, yeah, sorry. We'll talk about before we talk about your team. COVID. That was the other thing at Wimbledon, where there was pics of you going around with Nadal and with uh, oh, Isner, was it? And then the next day, you're you've COVID. Yeah. So it must have just been a nightmare. Yeah, for it you. was. I mean, I, I had COVID when I arrived at home. It was like a souvenir. <laughs> But no, um, I don't. Uh, I don't know uh, who gave me this. But uh, I mean, when I go to warm up, there are many players, and yeah, you know, many some other players also had it. I know. There. I will. I was over there, and no, I didn't see one. No, mask no, no, in no. All the women for the four or five days I was yeah, there, yeah. one mask. So and it was the same at Roland Garros. It's just people. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm sure after. I'm sure the main players keep the smaller groups as well just for the off chance but so COVID so you're, you're still haven't you're still not 100% no I mean let's I I'm not sure yet if I can play in my next tournament in San Jose um, it's starting on 30th uh, of uh, July um, yeah but uh, I was of August uh, no no just 13th 13th of August, the 30th Oh, the third, yeah, yeah. the third, sorry. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm just not fit yet. And uh, I, I was starting a bit too early, maybe after I, I was negative again. Uh, I was like negative on Thursday and start playing the tournament on Monday or Tuesday, you know. So uh, in Lausanne, it uh, didn't go well. I, I lost against Begu in two sets, but it was very, very hard in it. After long balls, I also felt like dizzy and couldn't breathe so good. Yeah, and then I lost. We drove home and uh, I thought, yeah, maybe two days 
days off is enough and then uh, start practicing again. I practiced just a little bit for Hamburg, uh, before Hamburg. And yeah, then I had to face Petkovic again, a strong player. And yeah, it was the same. So um, I have wow. bit problems. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have problems with my lungs. I, I, I got sick like end of 2019, had a flu or Corona and had only 50% lung function. And since then, I, I, I'm taking yeah. medication every day and always problems when I'm getting sick. And now I just had Corona and that's why I'm taking so long to get healthy. And I hope, but... but well, re yeah. re rest up. Rest, rest up. That's all I, I'm yeah, yeah, but, but, yeah. Uh, just, yeah, yeah. I know, I know you're an athlete yeah. and even amateur athletes want to rush back as yeah. quick as possible. But normally I, I rather like to play sick worse. than play nothing, <laughs> really. But... Yeah, but yeah, now true, I have to, true. otherwise yeah. I will make it worse and I will never win anything. You got to lock you up, tell your coach to lock you up. Who, what sort of team do you have? Yeah, my my coach is my dad. Um, it's from the beginning when I started okay. with five. Yeah, and there's also my mom. She's always supporting me and also stringing my rackets. Um, I can also string my rackets, but nice. I, I not so good like her not so quick and and i don't have time for that so she's doing that yeah and i'm also um driving I'm... with them to tournaments i i mean we are almost always See. driving uh, driving <laughs> um not so yeah we we, we drive uh, inside europe but uh, fly in the us or anything but did, mostly we're driving did you drive to wimbledon yes. yeah <laughs> Yeah, with a ferry, nice. but it's it's uh, so much more fun than flying, okay? Because uh, I see so many places and uh, it's just uh, more relaxed, I say. Yeah, we can do breaks after two hours and yeah. Nice. And so t t looking back at your results, you've beaten, you've had some good wins. You beat Sakari, uh, you've beaten Bedoza. Tell me, I know things to carry was a few years ago, yeah, four or four I, years ago, roughly. Uh, Bedoza, when, do you, what do you remember I, from those I matches? I exactly remember almost everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think um, against Akari was in Gstaad, it was in Switzerland, on clay, and the center court. Uh, she's playing so, so much spin and so aggressive. Um, I mean, the spin is aggressive and uh, this is my tennis, what I like. I like if someone plays uh, spin because it's my tennis and um, yeah. And it was a long match. It was in three sets. I think I lost the first one and the second I won. I don't know if I won 7-5 or 6-3, but the last one I won 6-0. And I remember when I was leading 5-0, she was uh, crashing her record. <laughs> yeah, and, um, and the set break, she was... Uh, her coach was coaching her in the set break and she got one warning and the second warning for the for the crashing record uh, after 5-0 and then I was going I was starting she was serving and she had last 15 then because of two warnings you know and I was starting from the left side yeah. then when I was leading 5-0 and yeah then I won the game this is what I remember but I, I love to remember this <laughs> That is good memory. And when did you play uh, Bedoza? It was French Open, Qualis. Uh, I think it was uh, first or second round. It was a very long match. I know it was in three sets and it was 7-6 in the third. So it was really long. It was very hot and it was a big fight, really. It was a very nice match and um, yeah, a very, very big fight. But she's also playing like spin and I mean there she played like spin and uh, yeah. I, I also like this, but uh, yeah. Did they, they they hit a bit flatter? Yeah, now. yeah, I think so. But me too. It's I also changed it now. Nice. It's an age. I think it's an age thing. You know, you have to hit a flatter yeah. to get more out of it. Did you play? Do you play a bit of? Do you play a bit of German league? Uh, I. What do you mean? Oh, sorry. No, do, do you? I know many of the professionals, especially the Europeans, play for a German league team. Are you still ah, playing yeah, for a I German league team? Ah, yeah, I'm playing for team? my club, uh, Hamburg. 
uh, it's uh, we are in the first Bundesliga now. It's um, yeah, this year we were second, but we move up now. So uh, yeah, now we are playing in whole Germany, okay, nice. not just the north. Now the whole Germany. Uh, and is that yes. your home? Yeah, club? it's just where the tournament was. Where the okay. Hamburg Hamburg European Open. Okay, nice. Nice. I, I say it's great to be yeah. able to play for your own club that's in the Premier yeah, yeah. Division. The first. We also have a very league. strong team. Uh, that that's. R Who else on the team? No, we have a strong team. We are from Hamburg. The... Yeah. No. Ah, oh, who, no, who else? Who oh, okay, else I, I didn't team. understand. Uh, it's um, Karina Wittoft. You should know her from her past. And yep. um, yeah, Dennis Eva, Eva Lys. Uh, it's a younger one. And um, her sister Lisa. Um, oh God. Then uh, the sister of Karina, Jennifer Wittoft. And um, God, I don't like to forget. I forget something. Uh, someone. <laughs> yeah, and some some younger players like Ella Seidel, Noma. They also played in Hamburg European Open. Okay. Nice. And tell me, when you're not on the tennis court and you're not driving across Europe, what My are hobbies. your hobbies? Oh, I I started a new hobby like one uh, a half year ago. It's, uh, I'm playing guitar and. Uh, I don't have a lot of time for that, but now in my Corona time, and uh, I'm not playing so much tournaments and don't practice a lot, so I have a lot of time to uh, learn more. I also have a known song, so yeah, this is my uh, new hobby. Yeah, you have your own but song, but I, I don't sing it or I don't play you, it. Just don't are ask. You gonna... <laughs> ah, I, I thought you might have no, sang no. it first here today, and. So finally, tomorrow, what advice do you have for other players out there, young juniors who want to be professionals? Is there anything you think it's that's important that, that they, they need, need to know? know. Just um, one thing from my own: um, never give up. Never give up. Just this is the one thing which is the most important. Because uh, when I was younger, uh, I was studying and playing, qualifying everywhere. Didn't get anything, any help or anything. We did everything by our own and were work, working hard uh, every day and practicing a lot. And we, I, I took two years to get my first ranking, uh, WTA ranking. And yeah, before I, I lost so many things, uh, I mean, so many matches, um, won the qualies, but uh, lost the first round main draw and the other um, coaches said like oh you're still not winning anything like and my dad and me we were never giving up and said like okay we keep working we were practicing like all day long until the darkness and it's really true and um yeah but now uh, if you keep working and never give up you can do it nice thank you very much well look uh, best of luck in the next the rest of this year the future years ahead and i hope you can rest up and, you know, get back healthy and get the fitness back and get back compete. Thanks a lot. Thanks for jumping Thank on. Thank you.